with all the gyms closing down, a lot of you guys are stuck trying to figure out a home workout, myself included. Now, I've always been pretty vocal that calisthenics routines aren't that effective for hypertrophy, muscle building, because it's difficult to take your muscles to failure with a high weight exercise. When you do a pull up, how do you ensure that your forearms, your biceps, and back go to failure? You don't. One typically fails before the others do, at least for most people. So with free weights, machines, cables, you're able to choose a weight that allows you to establish the mind-muscle connection easier. Take each individual muscle to failure. That being said, once you are able to build up a muscular base, say six months to a year of training, it becomes easier and easier to take the muscles to failure. As you can imagine, the larger the muscle is, the more muscle fiber tissue there is, it's easier to flex that muscle. So if you're already strong and muscular, calisthenics is a viable option. It's why you see a lot of these calisthenics guys initially having imbalanced physiques until they hit an advanced level, usually like big chest, arms or shoulders with an underdeveloped back. But when they work out for years and years and years, everything eventually evens out. This also has to do with exercise choice as opposed to training modality. If all you do is pull-ups and push-ups as opposed to messing around with other stuff on the bars, that's where you see the muscular imbalances. And there's definitely a lack of you know, asymmetrical exercises. You can't do unilateral movements as easily with this. Normally in the gym, I do full body every single day. Chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, calves, everything. I focus on each muscle group individually when I have time. If I'm time restricted, I'll start alternating exercises. So I'll do a barbell bench press, then a barbell row. Uh, if I'm really, really tight on time, I'll even superset contrasting muscle groups. So I'll do, you know, pull-ups, then push-ups, bicep curl, then tricep extension, really condense everything together. The workout today is designed to maximize hypertrophy, as high volume as possible, take as many muscles to failure as frequently as possible with as little time invested as we need to. That being said, this is gonna be anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes depending on your, you know, your muscular strength and endurance. The problem with calisthenics training is that you need to rest a lot longer as you cannot lower the weight. Uh, traditionally, people rest like two to three minutes between sets. In my normal gym routine, I'm only resting 20, 30 seconds, but today it might be a little longer than that because of the higher weight, the higher strength requirement. You know, with only pull-ups and body weight exercises, I cannot lessen the load as easily. And keep in mind, guys, I've never watched a calisthenics workout video. You know, I've, I've never really done calisthenics in my life. Uh, this is just something I came up with the other day, you know, to get the job done. Uh, the job being to take your muscle to failure, as I said, as frequently as possible with enough sets to stimulate growth. Uh, the layout is going to be supersetting everything together uh, to keep it really, really simple. Of course, you can change the loading however you'd like to. Uh, so as we lose our strength uh, throughout this, you know, we'll start resting longer, we'll throw in some more sets, you know, we'll try to lean and, and do a couple interesting things. Depending on your equipment access, you know, what bars you have, you might not be able to do a lot of these exercises, but worst case scenario, you know, you just have a pull-up bar and you can do push-ups. There just won't be as many variations. Uh, so the layout today is gonna be back, then we're gonna superset a lower intensity back exercise, then we're gonna do dips, superset it with a lower intensity chest exercise, then we're gonna do a bit of like a, a face pull for some shoulders and traps, then we're gonna jump into a mid-delt push then we're gonna do tricep extensions and bicep curls, literally full upper body. And then when we're resting uh, between that super set of sets, we're gonna do some calf raises. Uh, if you guys work out your leg, uh, by all means, you can include some single leg squats, some squats, you know, some glute extensions, various leg exercises, but this is uh, an upper body builder routine. Before we jump into this, let me just show you guys what bars we have access to today. So, you know, I can do pull-ups here on this, uh, on a thick grip with like my thumbs up. I can do vertical pull-ups as well. Uh, I could even do, you know, pull-ups here, wider grip. We're gonna be doing some uh, various like rowing and pushing exercises with these parallel bars. You know, we'll do some stuff like this. We'll do some stuff like this. Uh, we could even get up on here and do some dips on these bars. We have the straight pull-up bar here as well. Even though it's a little low to the ground, that gives us options to do stuff like this, which I'll show you guys. And then we have 
some more bar setups over here. This is going to be good for some pushing stuff as well as some bicep and tricep stuff. So, you know, this is a really great calisthenic setup I have here at this uh, local playground gym. Uh, but keep in mind, we're going to do stuff on everything. As I said, worst case scenario, just less variation. Uh, so we're going to go through one round of the highest intensity set. And we're going to start with pull-ups on the regular bar. So when I do this set, I'm really going to focus on squeezing my back muscles. And it's hard to squeeze your entire back. So for the first few reps, you know, I'll squeeze my lats. For the next few reps, I'll squeeze my middle back, then maybe even my upper back. Really just trying to keep my biceps and, and forearms out as much as possible. So I like a neutral grip on this. Really squeezing the back. When I go up, squeeze, squeeze. And then when I go down, nice and slow, really keep the tension on that back for the negative. And when I start using my arms too much, you know, around 10, 12 reps, we're gonna go to this. So if you don't have these two bars, what you could do is, uh, you know, you could do some kind of like slightly assisted pull-ups. So I'll kind of keep my feet on the ground a little bit and take some of the resistance away and I'll just pull up and th that's kind of hard to do, but you can squeeze your back a little bit, get a little more failure in there. But since I have these bars, what I can do is I can lean back and do like a, an assisted row pretty easily. So here, I'm just going to really pull with my elbows and squeeze the lats, really squeeze the back, get that extra and if you want this to be a little easier you know finish off the set up a little bit and maybe even finishing up almost standing up straight you know the lower down you go the higher the resistance is going to be so that was our back now we're going to do the face pulls for the upper back and the traps so i'm just going to lean a little bit back and do this Really squeeze. And if you do this right, and you have an established base of muscle mass, like my, my traps and my rear delts are completely burning. And of course, if you have a, another bar like this, this is also great. This one's a little lower, so I can do that as well. On my tiptoes, just leaning back a little bit. And by all means, something like this is just as effective as the gym because you wouldn't use a heavy weight anyway. Now we're gonna do some dips. So most of you guys probably just have a straight bar. So if you have a straight bar, what I would do is I would get up on the bar and I would just do some put presses like this. So you could do presses like this for chest. In general, I like dips a little more because this stresses your shoulders a lot. What I like the most is the, the vertical grip dip. Down nice and slow, just really stretch out the chest. Up, really squeeze the chest, squeeze the tries and delts. And just take it to failure. Then I'll move to something a little bit easier. So I'll go over here on this. Put my legs up and then just down and squeeze. And then last set, lowest resistance. Now you could do some push-ups if you want, but since we have these bars, I'm just gonna do some of this. Just really Squeeze the chest, stretch, squeeze the chest. Guys, as with any exercise, if you feel it in the muscle, if you're taking that muscle to failure, that's all that matters. You know, going from point A to point B, doing X amount of reps, X amount of weight, doesn't matter if you don't feel it and you're not stimulating that muscle and you're not taking it to failure. Uh, so now for shoulders, we're just gonna do a really simple, like, press and I'm going to do this on the fence over here because I don't have a bar that's good for this. Since our rear delts are getting hit with back and our front delts are getting hit with chest, 
the focus here is just the medial delt. So what I'm gonna do is just really press and squeeze that mid delt. And keep in mind guys, all of the muscles on your arms, on your delts, these are very small muscles. You know, most guys go in the gym, they do lateral raises with 20, 30, 40 pounds. A, a muscle this small is not meant to lift that much weight. Even just two, three, four, five pound dumbbells, you can get a really good shoulder workout in. So now we're gonna do the bicep and the tricep superset. So for triceps, I like doing the extensions on this like this. And you know, if this is too easy, you know, try to go down a little more. If it's too difficult, you can stand up a little more too. Now, as with every exercise, really go down, stretch out that muscle, flex it, squeeze it at the top. If you're not getting a contraction, you know, either go lighter or go heavier, try both. And I like to superset those with just some, you know, some tricep presses. A general rep range, you know, you want to do 15 to 20 reps for each muscle throughout the exercise period. So, you know, if you do 10 extensions, try to do 10 presses. If you do like 12 pull-ups, try to do eight of the assisted rows. And now the biceps. Here you're kind of doing like a variation on a pull-up and then a bicep curl. So initially, you know, we want to do a bicep curl, but this is kind of heavy for biceps. So, you know, I'll stand up and I'll try to lower the resistance as much as possible. But it, as it gets too heavy, I'll start like doing almost a pull-up. You know, like a row, but just trying to squeeze my biceps. So that's the whole upper body circuit. Between circuits, when I'm resting, I'll do like maybe 30, 40 seconds of calf raises. You know, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 reps, depending on how I feel. You know, if you don't have the bar, you could do these on the floor too. The, the bar's a little more difficult to get a better stretch, but you know, do this on a step too. Do this on one of the steps at your home. You know, a nice stretch, squeeze. And this is if you're working out legs, you would do legs here too. And you, know, you can do some lunges, whatever, different variations on lunges. You can do glute stuff. You know, you can do squats. You know, you can build up your upper body pretty effectively with this, but legs, it's a lot more difficult without weight. So I'm actually gonna grab some uh, honey water I have in my car. So over the past few months, I've been getting in nutrients during my workout. Initially, I was using raw milk, you know, raw goat milk, raw sheep milk, but the fat was a little hard on my digestion. Although if you guys tolerate milk really well, I think that milk, kefir, those raw dairy beverages are the best option. You're getting bioavailable amino acids, you know, you're getting sugar, the lactose to feed your gut bacteria, give you energy during the workout. I would opt for that. Uh, today I just have some honey in water. Sometimes I'll squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in it, put a little bit of salt in there and you know, throughout the workout I try to get in you know, 80 to 100 grams of carbs just to keep my energy up throughout and especially, you know, doing this calisthenic stuff for 30, 40 minutes at a high intensity. I definitely need more of this. It really does help me get through the workout. Uh, so I'll usually have a little bit of honey before, I'll have this during, and then after, you know, I'll go home, I'll have my steak, I'll get my protein. Uh, so. so we're gonna do one more round with a slightly different variation. And this will happen towards the end of your workout when you're really tired and you're trying to squeeze out as many reps as possible. So on here we'll just do some vertical grip. And you know when you change the grip, you work a different part of your back. So here I'm, I'm working the inner back a little more. So really squeezing the rhomboids. And when I get to failure with that, I'll switch grips. And I'll try to get a few more reps that way. And then sometimes I'll even go to like a bar like this and see if I can get just a few more reps. Usually it's only like one or two. 
And then again, we'll go to this, really finish taking the back to failure. So again, pulling with the elbows, go up a little bit, really squeeze the lats. Then do the upper back, the traps, the face pull. So I'll come over here. Really squeeze the traps, squeeze the rear delts, squeeze the rotator cuff. That's a little heavy, so I'll switch back to this one. That's Sean, his roommate. Sean, he's like a computer. Bring him down, bring drinks, clean things up. I go, you can tell they've been roommates for two years. So someone, it's so funny. Carlos at my, I can, I said, why is there a doorbell on my phone? Did you hear that? And with this, the main thing you want to do is keep your body away from the bar on the way down so you do the negative. Because you, you, if you don't, you're not squeezing the chest on the way down. This, I feel mostly in my upper chest. So, after I do 10 reps of that, what I'll do is be on the ground, and I'll do some push-ups, and I'll try to really you know, squeeze my lower chest. And then we'll do the mid delts again over here. triceps and biceps again and you know if you don't have this you get on the floor you know do some diamond push-ups you know if that's too heavy on your knees do some more really squeeze those triceps and then even get up you could even do this on a wall you know just push really squeeze those triceps And then, if you don't have anything for biceps, you, you know, you could try to do like slightly assisted chin-ups. But honestly, even just like really squeezing and flexing the muscle, after you do that set of pull-ups, you know, you get some more blood in there, get things flowing. It's definitely better than nothing. And if you guys have someone else to work out with, you, know, you could do that like prison style towel workout where like they hold the towel you squeeze and flex your biceps, you do triceps. You know, if you have some bands, whatever equipment you have access to, even a pair of five, 10, 15 pound dumbbells is gonna add so much variance to this workout, especially, you know, even just some light dumbbell rows, you know, upright rows, curls, triceps, so much stuff you can do if you have just a little bit of equipment. With all of these exercises, you really want to experiment and see what feels the best. You know, even something as simple as face pulls. Now you could do them like this, you could do them like this. You could put your hands close and do it like this. Really see, you know, what feels the best, you know, for your, for your traps, for your rear delts, for your rotator cuff. Mess around, you know, see, see what feels good. In regards to specific volume, I'll do this circuit anywhere from 10 to 15 times. And towards the end of the workout, what will end up happening is, you know, I'll only be getting like two to three reps on the pull-ups and you know the dips and and the rep range will be a lot lower maybe not quite two or three but you know four to five so i'll do a full round of the circuit and then i won't rest at all i'll go into the circuit again and i'll do maybe like two or three supersets of the circuit with rest time in between really you know as soon as you're like pooped you're completely out of energy all the muscle glycogen is depleted that's when you're like okay that's it you know if you really want to come back later in the day and do another workout that's okay, but you know, your body can only do so much in one day. For those of you guys thinking, Frank, it's all icky. Oh my God, there's germs everywhere. It's a children's playground. Why don't you guys go take a bath in a tub full of bleach? The main takeaway for you guys is to be creative. As Big Lenny says, don't be a cookie cutter. You know, mess around with 
your training tempo, your rest times, your exercises, whatever is taking that muscle to failure as effectively as possible. And you want to be goal oriented too. You know, if your goal is to do as many pull-ups as possible, your routine is going to look incredibly different. If you're a power lifter, if you're a bodybuilder, you're strength training, you're training for your sports and stuff, and you might go do some sprints on the track. It depends on what your goals are. If you want to be good at something, you have to practice doing it. If you want to be a bodybuilder, you have to be good at stimulating your muscle and breaking down muscle fibers. If you want to be you know, a calisthenics master, you got to do a lot of calisthenics. So hopefully this helps you guys get through the next few weeks while gyms are closed. Uh, if you guys could please like the video, uh, you know, of course, subscribe, hit that bell icon if you haven't. If you guys do want to support me further, you know, of course, you can check out frank definocom for my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, Frankie's Naturals, Frankie's Syringe Meat, OregonSupplements.com. All that good stuff is down below. If you guys want to learn how to, you know, boost your testosterone, naturally increase your hormones, definitely check out my video from Tuesday of this week. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.